Hey YouTube, Yacht Fish Taco here. Another beautiful day, so time for another video. So I've been talking about uh, kind of building a uh, sort of a camper for my Tacoma TRD off-road. And um, so I just got this camper shell just a month ago. So I've been doing some research and uh, kind of looking at all the options online and a lot of YouTube videos and just kind of try to come up with something that will work for me. Now I've seen a lot of beautiful solutions where people build out really beautiful woodwork, you know, cabins and, you know, frames and, and all that stuff. And those are all good options. But for me, because being a utility truck, I, I do need to use this truck for hauling lumbers, helping my brother move, like what I did last week, and then also doing yard works and helping other friends. And so I, I need to have the truck to retain the utility aspect of it and also be able to convert into a camper you know at moment's notice you know that doesn't take a lot of time to set up and also does not take a lot of time to convert back to a, a truck so so what i have here um so i'm gonna go for something that a little simple to start with and then I'll go from there so i got here is a, a roller cart uh, a cart that kind of folds up and down and then uh, some uh, foam mat and I'll show you how I set it up and I'll put the link on the card down below in the description so you can check it out so uh, let's go What do you think? Uh, I think uh, it took me a little less time before, but uh, I was kind of fumbling a little bit. But overall, it's uh, about like a five minute setup. So the uh, everything fits. This is a six six and a half feet uh, card, but actually it will fit into this six and six point one feet truck bed for some reason. And uh, I think it says like 73 inches, which is just fit, it's perfect. And uh, this little like 3 8 inch thick uh, foam mat actually makes everything a lot more comfortable. I mean, a cot is not really the most comfortable thing to sleep on, but this little mat make a world of difference. So let me put up a couple few things to make it a complete home away from home so let me show you so let's take a look at this card the reason i bought this particular model is that it has the two stands sort of really far away from each other so that you you see in like some of the cards it has like the middle one has like three legs three sets of legs but this one has just the two 
and uh, so it's just kind of really kind of goes over the wheel wells so they allow this car to sort of stay closer to the side and then also leave enough room here for a lot of things uh, actually I have put a smaller mat down here and actually one more person can actually sleep down here with the legs and arms sort of spilled into under the uh, the cot so it's kind of like a bunk bed almost so uh, there's a lot of possibility so let me uh, put a couple of things in here and then uh, show you a complete home okay I'm all set so are you ready for this Ta -da! Wow, you're going to be wondering like, what the heck is all this? So uh, let me decluster and then kind of walk you from the inside. So um, in uh, Oregon uh, and Washington, the Pacific Northwest, like if you want to spend a full weekend at the coast and try to do everything, we like to fish, we like to go crabbing, and then we like to go clamming. So I got everything I need for a full weekend of all that activity in here. So let me get the fishing rod out of the way. This is a clam gun we use to shove in the sand to get clams. So with the pots in the water with baits soaking overnight, hopefully in the morning, They'll be full of crabs and then I'll just climb into my truck for a good night's sleep. So let me take you inside and show you all the details. So down here I have my tackle box and an extra small cooler for instant access or cold drinks, beer, soda and all that stuff. And in here underneath the card I can fit three long shape uh, crates. So this one is a stove, um, iron, cast iron skillet, very important if you want to cook steak, some pots and uh, pans, got my uh, coffee makers, and all that essential stuff. And uh, I can fit another like say Coleman uh, rocket stove and then a couple of uh, Coleman uh, um, propane tanks in here. Here, let's see. Just, you know, paper towels, some garbage bag, water, some tools and uh, axe and saws for, uh, you know, whatever you want to cut and fix. I got uh, some shot shells in here. Number seven. Well, you never know when uh, situations and regulations allow, small games are fair games, right? You know, extra meats on the... Uh, uh, skillets is always good for the evening. Uh, so the shotgun is the Remington A70, something simple. Here's all my other cooking stuff um, that uh, you know, olive oils and seasonings and all that stuff in here. So now you can see, I still have a tons of space in all this storage crates for extra stuff but for a guy one person couple nights on a weekend excursion this should be plenty enough stuff so i got my uh little extra uh air mat right here i use i can lean on you know you're not supposed to lean on the the glasses you know so you can you use this kind of lean on it and also i can use this for additional sleeping space down here for extra person if I want to bring somebody uh, but usually just by myself and here this is cool because this spot right here right between the wall the uh, cot and the other wall I can fit this cooler this is the cheap Coleman cooler and it's got cup holders I can just like lean on this thing and have some drinks here and read a book and this thing fits really well. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. And also it sort of provide a, a kind of like a, a reinforcement to keep this cot 
from going anywhere. I mean, this this type of mat is really rubbery, grippy, and sticky. So everything in here doesn't slide at all. So I was kind of thinking about having some uh, tie down, but I I did a couple of traveling through the mountains and everything just stays in in place and uh, nothing flies out. Even though like in some sharp turns, they all stay in place, you know, because of the grip grippiness. And I and plus I I put stuff here like extra buckets and extra coolers if I plan on catching big fish, which I never do. Um, Everything here will just kind of fit and so kind of keep everything else in place. So yeah, I mean, this is cool. Uh, let me s sit on this thing right here. Uh. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm really glad that I had the higher roof the four extra inch really kind of makes it so much more comfortable you know i can kind of set up and lean against the window well i'm not really leaning against the, the glass window i'm just leaning against my mat that rolled up so it's really comfortable and uh yeah this is how i'm gonna get started on truck camping something simple and easy uh, and then i'm gonna go from there uh, make uh, improvements along the way. I can already see some improvement that I need to make, right? Like the curtains, that's important. Privacy, but uh, I don't plan on going camping in uh, on the streets of New York, or LA or Chicago anytime soon. So uh, that's why I'm kind of still looking for different solutions. And uh, the next thing, uh, probably I'll probably do something to improve the card a little bit. It's a pretty stable platform. Maybe I was gonna put some board on top of it, something easy to put up and then also uh, easily taken out. Um, so yeah, um, that's uh, that's pretty much about it, you know. Um, I mean, for someone like that, like me, doesn't not have a lot of skills, like carpenter skills and time to invest in, in building out a, a more uh, elaborate uh, permanent solution. Uh, this could be a, uh, you know, a viable options, so. Uh, and, uh, I'm pretty happy about it. You know, I think uh, I can uh, take a nap now. You know, but... Hmm. Huh. Well, you know, it's a little kind of boring. You know, just my neighborhood streets and then... And today's a hot day. I need to go somewhere with some nice breeze and a little cooler weather and the better views than this. So, um, you know, I, I know just the right place. Let's go there. Well, how about this place? My little own piece of the beach. It's kind of quiet except for the noise from the waves. Got some neighbors. We got my uh, little backboard pillow. So I got to my better spot. I got my cooler here. My drinks and some snacks, some jerkies some neighbors not bad they're kind of quiet but uh, yeah I got a pretty good view yeah that's the haystack rock at the uh, Cape Kiwanda Pacific City Oregon
All right, guys. Uh, so that was really fun. Really enjoy making this video. I am going to go for a overnight uh, crabbing trip on the Oregon coast. Um, I haven't decided where to go yet, but I'm gonna be taking everything here with me. So I will be making that video right after the trip. So uh, if you subscribe, and you will get notification when I have that video out. So until next time, peace out.